Noida, a key real estate market of the national capital region, went on a news overdrive last week with the Prime Minister laying the foundation of the Noida International Airport at Jaber. This is touted to be Asia's largest airport and the first phase of which is scheduled to open in 2024. This airport is about 20 kilometers from Yamuna Expressway's residential sectors, about 35 to 40 kilometers from Noida and Greater Noida, depending on where you're coming from, and about 40 kilometers each from Faridabad and Ghaziabad. Today on the property show, we ask a simple question Will Noida's residential and office market soon be at par with Gurugram? And if yes, should you invest in it now? Joining me, Rishi Raj, Chief Operating Officer at Max Estates. Rajat Gupta, Managing Director, Business Operations at CBRE, and Samir Jasuja, Founder and CEO at Prop Equity. Gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, joining me. Uh, Rishi, your projects, Max has projects in Noida, so I'm going to ask you that question. First phase and two runways are now expected to be ready by 2024. We're ending 2021 in a couple of days, right? So, will that happen or... Are you expecting at least a few project delays? I mean, Navi Mumbai also had everybody excited the airport and it took years to actually for the construction work to start. Thank you, Manisha. I think the excitement is very understandable. Unlike Navi Mumbai, which had its own challenges with respect to land acquisition and financial closure, my understanding with respect to Jaber Airport is that under the leadership of current PM, they have resolved the land acquisition issues and with Zurich Airport, International Airport coming into picture, financial closure is also resolved. So the probability of this happening is really very, very high. And as we have seen world over, once International Airport gets live, it has a positive and multiplier effect across asset classes in the real estate sector. I think one of the very important points which all your audience should know that the location of Jaber Airport is very strategic. It is very well connected with multiple expressway, Western Peripheral Expressway, Eastern Peripheral Expressway, Delhi-Mumbai Corridor, Yamuna Expressway, which will potentially unlock significant amount of investment and job creation, which in turn will drive a lot of demand for residential, commercial, hospitality, logistics, and many other sectors. So excitement is understandable. Of course, irrational ex exuberance should not be there. Okay. Rajat, so uh, as Rishi just said that the potential is huge. But with the potential, let's say right now we're talking about Noida region, but then you also have potential in Agra. You also have potential in, you know, other places which never were in the focus, Bulan Shehar. So lo loads of land parcels get opened up and just the geography expands hugely. So tell me, is it a plus or is it a minus for Noida? Sorry. So, you know, um, as, as uh, Rishi mentioned, you know, when a, when a, whenever an infrastructure project of this magnitude is, is launched, the, it, it just acts as a massive magnet for, for development, whether it's social, whether it's, it's, it's physical, across a, across a wider, wider location. Uh, most pertinently, you know, this, this airport is expected to be log a logistics hub, multi, um, you know, uh, integrated multimodal cargo hub. And to that extent, I believe the, the benefits of, of this air food would far be far greater than, you know, had it been just a passenger uh, airport uh, catering to passenger uh, uh, traffic. You know, uh, again, Rishi mentioned it is very strategically located. Uh, from a from a location uh, perspective, in uh, terms of you know uh, proximity to uh, multiple uh, infrastructure, uh, you know uh, highways and, and 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 expressways, and I think the entire logistics push that it will uh, you know uh, deliver to this area that will have a a massive ripple effect uh, across across all. Compared to Gurgaon. You know, Noida has all Let's this lag behind Let's come back to Gurgaon versus Noida a little bit later. Uh, let sure. me just do some data crunching for our audience here. Where this data has come from uh, 
Prop Equity. So I'll go to Samir after I've, you know, looked at the snapshot of Noida, Greater Noida and Yamuna Expressway. Now sales, and we're going to focus on residential because that's where home buyers first uh, want to go. Sales in Noida have jumped from 2,700 units in 2020 to 4,000 plus units sales in 2021. But, and here's an important aspect to look into, this is the data from Prop Equity we've got, unsold stock of units is still pretty high at 12,000 uni units, so it will take about three years for the existing units to get sold. This does not include stuck projects of JP and Amrapali. It's an important point to clear and any other stuck projects. Now, over 10 year period though, Noida market has seen the most healthy price rise with about 107% and weighted average of the market has gone up from 3,300 rupees to almost 6,900 rupees. Uh, we'll keep showing the greater Noida data as we talk, but Samir, here's my question to you. I mean, this market has jumped up quite a bit. It was a very affordable market. It also has unsold inventory at a very high level. And then you have a company like Godrej launching at 9,000 rupees per square feet and it getting lapped up. So what's going on? What's your reading of the tea leaves? So uh, with respect to Noida, we are quite bullish. Uh, first of all, because the supply has come down to a low of 4,500 units. Uh, at one point in time, it used to be around 50,000 units. So we are down 90%. And we've hit the bottom of the table, literally. So whenever a branded developer launches a project, a new project uh, with right sizing, right pricing, back-ended payment plans, uh, he's sure to succeed uh, because of his brand as well and charge a premium to the market. Uh, the 12,000 units that we are talking about of unsold inventory for Noida is not that high, even if it's three years. Uh, but I would feel that the... Uh, the overall uh, 12,000 units is also not owned, uh, developed by uh, reputed developers, Category B developers, which are taking time to complete the project. So that's why Noida doesn't have that much inventory, so to say. Uh, if you'd like me to talk about Greater Noida uh, here and Noida extension, uh, that is where the maximum inventory is uh, resting. We have to put numbers into context. Greater Noida and Noida extension put together has 300,000 units that were launched, out of which 50,000 units are still available. Comparatively, Noida and Gurgaon have 200,000 units. So there is an oversupply situation already that is there in Greater Noida uh, region, uh, which is uh, probably the highest in the country today. That's why I feel that the exuberance should definitely be there in terms of uh, the logistic hubs, uh, commercial activity picking up. But with respect to residential activity, I feel that the market is oversupplied already and there is enough stock already to be consumed for more new stock to come into the market. Okay. So you're saying, uh, am I understanding correctly that if you're a good developer with good, excellent project at the right location, you'll be able to command probably a very high price, higher than the market. But overall, there's not that much potential for prices to start rising dramatically. Samir? Absolutely. Noida, uh, Noida for sure, uh, is uh, that is what you're uh, saying is correct. Uh, but if you're talking about Greater Noida, no. Uh, Greater Noida is still a long time away for good launches to get uh, absorbed pretty fast. Fair enough. So Noida looking like a healthier market than Greater Noida. Uh, what about Yamuna Expressway? Quickly, uh, that's a very different market and that's the, probably the closest uh, to the airport or the upcoming new airport. Samir? That market is also oversupplied uh, to a, 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 quite a high degree and uh, there's a lot of unsold stock in that market as well. So uh, I think uh, it's not livable fully as we speak right now, uh, but there will be some absorption that will happen because of the airport, but still a long way to go. Mm -hmm. I don't think people need to get super excited on the residential front because of this new airport. Rajat, so residential demand is actually a function of the employment generation which happens in a region and that's why Gurugram is so much higher in terms of pricing whether it's office or residential at the moment. Uh, what's your own reading of how many large corporates are now likely to move looking at the fact that the first part of the runways or the airport will be ready by 2024? So Manisha, you know, uh... You know, this this perpetual Gurgaon 
versus Nevada debate that has been on. I, I, I would I would say that you know it's it's not such a binary conversation. From an overall NCR perspective, uh, you know, Noida fulfills a very important link in the overall value chain. So it's a Gurgaon and a Noida conversation that actually uh, we should be talking about. And increasingly in the post-pandemic world where, you know, firms are talking about, you know, split offices and, and hub and spoke model, the emergence of Noida, and, and you know, this has nothing to do with the Jaywar airport or, or anything, you know, Noida has been coming on its uh, on its own for the last few years. We've seen uh, a very healthy take up uh, despite uh, pandemic uh, this year, and so overall the, the 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 story is is unfurling, you know, extremely well. And the more Noida develops, I believe from an overall office perspective, it is good because it gives corporates a great option of Gurgaon and Noida without having to compromise on, you know, from an ex- employee experience or, 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 or you know, infrastructure uh, perspective. And, and, you know, they, they, they have the uh, flexibility uh, to look at, look at both the locations and follow where the talent is and, and go where the talent uh, needs to be. So to, you know, to answer your question, are, are, are you know, are corporates starting to look at Noida? Will they look at Noida? No, that's that's already been happening. A lot of large blue chip names that have been in Gurgaon traditionally have opened their offices in Noida and are expanding. And there are many new entrants that that are are, are coming to Noida. But so th- I- that story is going to continue irrespective of, of the airport. Irrespective of the airport. But let me just look at what everyone's talking about, which is the rentals. Now, Gurugram, if I look at overall occupancies, they're looking healthier than Noida. Rentals are at 92 rupees per square feet. Cyber City and Golf Coast Road seem to be the healthiest of the markets. And here the rentals are as high as 124 and 125 rupees per square feet. That's the leasing rate a corporate will pay to take an office space in Cyber City and Golf Coast Road. Now, if I look at overall Noida market, market and again this is data from prop equity you have rentals of 60 rupees per square feet that's 92 versus 60 in noida and if i look at the two most occupied markets of noida which is noida expressway the rentals there are higher at 82 rupees per square feet and noida expressway 2 is at 56 so huge uh, disparity still in rentals rishi do you consider that as an advantage for a player like you who has really good grade A supply in Noida region or do you think that look this is not an advantage I mean uh, sooner than later prices are likely to climb up and match Gurugram. So Manisha uh, thank you for that question Uh, as Max states we are focusing on Delhi and CR for us Gurugram and Noida are equally important market but let me talk about Noida the, the perception and preference for Noida is fast changing. I completely agree with Raja's thesis. I just want to add a data point for your viewers. In 2018, Noida accounted for 18 to 20% of Delhi NCR leasing, which went up to 30 to 35 in 2019. And in 2020, it is 45 to 50%. So already it is coming neck to neck in terms of the demand. Now, let's talk a little bit about the pricing. Again, when you look at Noida Expressway, which constitutes 50% of Noida's demand, if on paper you would find vacancy levels at 25%, but once you peel the onion and go deeper, you find two stark categories. One is developer-owned and developer-managed good quality grade A asset versus strata sold fragmented assets. And the difference in the vacancy levels is 2x. On one hand, the occupancy of developer-owned developer manages 80 to 85 percent, and those numbers are very low for Strata Soul. And similarly, you find significant differences in the rental. So you have to look beyond the weighted average numbers. I will just give you another data point. We believe supply creates demand. We came up with Max Towers, which is our flagship office asset in Noida. And today, in, in less than two years, right through the COVID period, we, ha- we are 96% leased and our weighted average rental is in triple digit. Okay. And that's because Noida has been lacking good quality supply. Hmm. We believe post-COVID, there will be flight to quality, flight to premium. And as Rajesh said, the hub and spoke model 
And now airport coming into picture, I think the demand for Noida is here to stay and Noida and Gurgaon will be almost neck to neck. Okay, uh, so, so, so here's yeah. my question then, and this is the only answer that our audience wants is, that is this then a great time to invest, whether it's a commercial or a residential project uh, in Noida? Rishi, that's the question for you. I think, I think yes, but you have to be, like any investment, you have to be very, very selective about which project backed by what developer Please note, today, Delhi NCR, be it Gurgaon or Noida, is in flux when it comes to the, the, the portfolio of developers. Most of the incumbent developers are going out of business. The future is for new age progressive developer backed by strong balance sheet who can navigate all of this volatility. So, yes, with caution, be very selective like any other in investment. Gentlemen, we've covered all the points uh, that we needed to today. Thank you very much for joining me. The message we are wrapping up with, don't get overly excited if brokers bring you land and apartment opportunities, showing you fantastic returns in the next 12 months. The real benefits in terms of price appreciation and increased infrastructure with the airport will take some time and be choosy with what you pick up. On the other side, Bengaluru-based solar energy company is beating China hands down by giving SMEs, small and medium enterprises, far more cost-effective and reliable solar energy solutions. Stay with us to see that.